Hi, this is Jeremy Eichten with Echo, and today I'll be talking about men's mental health. So, as it is now June, it is Men's Mental Health Month, and I think that it is important to talk about uh, mental health within the male community. Um, a couple statistics that I'd like to start out with are that 70% of people that commit suicide are men. I think it's over 70% actually, and um, these this is mainly as a result of you know the social climate of how people expect men to act and um, obviously mental health is becoming a much more um, talked about topic however in the male community um, just generally and this isn't anyone's fault necessarily but the idea for men is mainly that they should um, it's almost like a subconscious expectation that they stay silent about their mental health so that they can be strong for other people around them and this is not a sustainable thing and i know this um through experience of myself and my family um, my father has experienced mental health issues and um, as have I. So <clears throat> the number one thing that I want to talk about is anxiety. Um, a lot of, I mean, people in general, all people, uh, but, you know, men as well have a lot of things on their plate. And with a lot of things on their plate, such as having a job, um, caring for yourself, caring for others, that comes with a lot of stress. And that comes with a lot of anxiety at times, especially when, you know, money's tight or, you know, things like that it's tough and it's hard to maintain a good mental health when you are just always working, always trying to provide for people, always stressed about what you're going to do next so that you can, you know, put everyone around you and yourself in the best position possible. And a lot of men don't get to talk about this because therapy is seen as something that, you know, they might not have to do or that they shouldn't do. Um, just because like, it's embarrassing maybe it can be perceived that way but it really should not be perceived that way because um this is a big issue and another reason that i think that men experience a lot of mental health issues that they don't talk about is just depression because a lot of men do not you know have people necessarily around them in their circle and a lot of people don't in general but um i think that there is a loneliness problem amongst the male population in the, you know, in the world. I think that a lot of men really go about their day, you know, they don't necessarily have a spouse. They don't necessarily have some, like a lot of friends. And so life can be pretty dull and lonely when your only time that you're interacting with others is at work or at family gatherings. And this can be really tough on someone to not have people around them. Um, it, you know, the divorce rate is about, 50% in the United States and that affects both people but um, again men are not necessarily encouraged to talk about their mental health while um, for the most part it's more comfortable for women in the climate of just the way the climate of society is today and so I think that this is a problem that definitely needs to be addressed um, I think that you know men should embrace um, not being okay and men should embrace that and you know address it it just at the end of the day, it needs to be addressed so that the suicide rates can go down and so that people can feel better about their situations. Um, I would also like to talk about mental health within athletes. I think that um, mental health within athletes is a big issue as well as there are people that are, you know, almost always need to seem, depending on the sport, but almost always need to seem strong and tough, you know, especially if you're going up against an opponent, you need to, you know, a lot of times you're made out to have to be strong and never have any emotions and only you know confidence and not everyone has that i know for me personally like i'm doing sports psychology because i have performance anxiety because there's a lot of anxiety on having to constantly put out a great product and having to constantly perform at the best of your ability because we're human and we're not always able to do that and again the male population um you know, female athletes generally talk about their mental health more than male athletes do. And both athletes experience the same mental health problems, but um, it needs to be addressed more with the male population. And that's not, again, it's not anyone's fault. And especially the person itself, because they're just confiding to what they feel they are comfortable doing. And it's not people telling men that they can't talk about their mental health more. So it's just like traditionally, in the world how it has gone for these people so overall i think that these things need to be talked about more and that these things need to be addressed and that um men's mental health is a very important topic that um needs to be addressed and 
it needs to be emphasized, especially this month as we're shedding a light to it. Um, strategies to deal with your mental health can be things like, um, you know, obviously talking to other people about it, whether there's people in your circle, whether it's a therapist, whether it's anything like that, family, friends, anybody, it needs to be talked about. And if the problems are more severe, you need to start talking about medication. You need to start talking about, you know, psychologists, different kinds of things, because it's important that people are happy and it's important that people are comfortable with their situations and it's impossible to be happy or comfortable when you have, you know, something dragging you down. And we don't want that for anybody, not just men. But um, as it's Men's Mental Health Month, I think it's important to address this. And I think it's important that, you know, a light is shed onto this situation so that suicide rates go down, depression rates go down, divorce rates go down, things like that. Because, I mean, mental health does have an effect on relationships. So um, all people should address their mental health and all people should have the ability to be happy. Thank you for listening.